Greetings and welcome to today's Hearts of Iron 4 video. In today's video, as promised, I'm gonna play as the Soviet Union with the goal of replacing Papa Stalin by uh, the General Georgi Chukov as the new leader for the Soviet Union. With that, first focus, we go down the path of Marxism and Millennialism. We do the standard industrial research stuff and we are already preparing for innovation of Turkey and Austria Romania. With all that set up, let's go. First focus done. We wait a few days. Now we have 50 political power, so we will justify on Turkey by the way. And now we select and focus three that path we have to go to get Georgi Chukov as the leader of the Soviet Union. We go the, with the right opposition. Of course, what do we need to get Chukov as the leader? First of all, we need Nikolai Bukharin as well as Alexei Rykov to be purged. As well as with all the field marshals the Soviet Union has. This is absolutely RNG stuff and it's annoying and I'm recording this for the I don't know how many time. Because RNG circumstances was against me, but oh well, we will see. Maybe it works this time. And now with having political paranoia, we won't select any headquarters yet. Of course, what I feel like is if I would select the headquarters, the Stalinist AI would then base its political power to just take over some random states, which don't even matter. But what I need is that random generals get purged as well. Of course, by the event, only three field marshals get purged. And now, what we're going to do is we will eliminate the left. Ooh, and there we have already the first purge of a Soviet general. Since Tukhachevsky will be purged anyways later in the game via the uh, military conspiracy event, I will instead purge Simeon. Of course, Simeon is a field marshal as well, but he won't be purged by an event. So, bye bye, Simeon. And Rokosovsky gets purged. Uh, bye bye, my friend. As long as you don't want to purge Chukov, I'm happy. And there we have the justification of Turkey, so we will declare war right away. And there we have already our first circumvent, we will destroy it just. Bye bye. And another circumvent here in Polkovina. Damage we did on Romania is impressive. Over 120,000 deaths already. This is soon over. Look at those and Sorgamans. These are the last remaining troops. They don't have anything left. And the goes into Romania. We will of course just annex everything and take over the fleet. And now it's just all about taking out Turkey. Now just just sneaking around the last remaining Turkish troops. And it wasn't right Turkey, so what we will do is again we will just annex everything and we will take over the fleet. And I think now I will just send some troops over to Spain. How many can I send? Six. I guess we will just put our favorite general and recharge it to this new unit and we will send them as volunteers over to Spain. Ooh, and we will of course also purge this man because he's a field marshal as well, so bye bye. And we have successfully encircled some German and Portuguese volunteer forces. Yeah, well, Chukov is month there. It seems like Chukov is in this case the stronger one. And there they go. I think I'm pulling back here because the onslaught of the Spanish troops are too strong, but I could try to make an encirclement over here. Ooh, Chinkachek gets arrested, but I think he's still needed. I absolutely don't want to do anything on China, so China can just fight against the Japanese. Oh, 
Ooh, and Pukoshevsky is accused of treason again, but again I would just put the other guy. And we finally have another assortment. Oh my god. And there's the great trial of all of our field marshals. So I have to back, look back in the Soviet Union. We don't have any field marshals anymore. So we only have to wait until Nuk Nikolai Bukharin as well as Alexei Rykov get purged as well. And then we can get Georgi Chukov as the new leader of the Soviet Union. There we have a big uncertainty now. Situation looks pretty bad for us, but at least we can make some damage before it's over. It was lost, but at least we're fighting it for our honor. Oh, and we have even made it to reconnect Valencia with Madrid. Oh, even another uncertainty. Great. Oh, if we can make this. If we can make this encirclement possible, just another four divisions we can encircle. Please, yeah, it's game. At least we are weak by the entire south down here. Making some damage. And we have to another Italian division. And another Portuguese division. Who so Malaga is now our last remaining stand. And there we have the great push in the administration, so Rykov and Bukharin are also now gone. So our next focus I will do after I finish this focus will be military support. Then the only field marshal I have, which then will be Georgi Chukov, will become a Bukharinist. Mm -hmm. And next focus we are going to do military support. So Chukov. Uh, how can I do it? Georgi Chukov, you will be promoted. Oh, and then at the last settlement. I wouldn't start uh, soon enough the Soviet Civil War. It could be still an interesting gameplay here down in Spain, but I have to pick it up at this point. Because now the Soviet Civil War is inevitable. Oh, and again we are destroying some volunteer troops of Italy and Germany. Even a tank division of Heinz Guderian. Oh my god. And we haven't completed the focus military support. Dukov is now a Bukharianist. And now we have another great purge for the generals, but we can't let this to happen. So what we have to do is we have to press the lower order decision because the upper one would purge Dukov and I want Dukov. But now I have to quickly change since I have now reached 100% political paranoia, I have to quickly change my entire army. So what I have to do is I make a template with only one artillery in it. Rest will just delete it of all the templates I have. Everyone will just switch to artillery. You see Stalin is already mobilizing the forces. So I can't click the decision yet because I'm not prepared. So I have to change some other stuff. Luckily I still have two weeks. So what I have to do also is I have to set up a headquarter in Archangels. I unfortunately have to change also those forces to artillery. I can also press those to the decision if I get one extra state. Now we have to quit it down. Now if I press this decision you can already see Georg Shukov will be the new leader of the Communist Party. But before I press this decision I have to hide all those templates as well. Let's press the button. And with that we are now up here in the north. With Georgi Shukov as the leader but I won't select him as Fiat Marshal because since he's now the active country leader, he can't be chief of arms anyways, so I have to I have to put someone else in power. Hmm. First of all, this would be all one template. Those decisions will change back to the Cowley template we have here. I will put you all at the border. 
And I need the level 3 general at least. In charge, how about Alexander Gorbatov? As well as this guy. And I will of course retrain a lot more of those cavalry divisions. Let's go. And of course full speed. And with us gone, look how quickly this Spanish Republic is losing. And now with over 100 more on the field, we can even make some more armies to send to the front line. And I don't even have to do anything anymore, I just have the battle plan. That's the good stuff about it. Come on, this peasant unit could try to go to Stalingrad. And Valentin Gonzalez joins now us because Spain lost the war. And we even have a bigger settlement up here. And Moscow is heavily defended by tanks. Then I guess we have to insult it. And the nationalists won Spain. Oh, and Soviets are doing very great defenses now. But at least we have landing up. This absolutely feels like the new order. West Russian revolutionary front. Don't tell me anything else. And there's the victory and also the de-Stalinization. Georgi Zhukov has declared himself victorious. And the question is now here, what should be the new capital? I would say Leningrad. And here's the important decision of de-Stalinization. Should we rename it to Volgograd or to Bukharin? Stalingrad, hmm. I, would, I will go with Bukharin. What is also special of this event is because I haven't completed the focus, where is it? Gain support from party members. The town of Kalinin will be renamed to Rykovgrad. I like how Zhukov now of the five random traits you can get as a generic leader. Even though he's not generic, he's an appointed general, but um, I like how he's now an empire builder. Oh, and we have successfully next Estonia, and of course we sent some volunteers to China. Oh, and here's the Molotov Ribbentrop pack, of course we will sign that. And last the sector as well, so only Lithuania is left. And we have successfully next Poland. Thank you Germany for the free land. And Lithuania as well. Perfect. So our next target will be the Finland. Oh let's see if we can get Kaya for free, hopefully not. And the Finns are rejecting our demands. So what is then? I have Great hopes that with Chukov it will be much more successful than Stalin could have ever done. And we made a successful landing up here in the north of Finland. So we just send everyone in. I shouldn't advance yet because I need still a level 4 general. So. I have good feelings that Valentin Gonzalez will be the next who reaches level 4, so I will just grind here a bit. Hmm, let's hunt it down. I have enough infantry equipment. And Valentin Gonzalez is now final level 4, so what we are going to do is. Hmm, we will promote him. Then we look into details, we give an offensive doctrine. We also organize first and also charismatic. And it's vice we give an our army offensive specialist. 
And of course, we will just hire him here. And the cost entire Finland. Since I don't want to have a border later with the Germans up here in the north, I guess I will just take this state and this state and and also this state here, this island here. And for the rest, I will just puppet Finland everywhere. Also some war reparations and research rights and also I will take over the navy. But at this point I absolutely don't feel like finishing this video and fighting for several hours against the Germans since we are Georgi Chukov, he needed us three years longer to do the Soviet civil war and this means our economy is pretty bad and we are absolutely not prepared. So even though it is winnable it is very much a defensive gameplay and I absolutely don't feel like wasting another three or four hours just to fighting the Germans. So we end it here. Anyways, I hope it was helpful anyways because now at least we know how to get a random general as the leader of the Soviet Union. And if you liked the video leave a like and subscribe and I hope I see you soon enough in the next video where we then take out a major faction.